hello viewers welcome to my youtube channel civil engineering general knowledge uh, guys uh, today i am going to discuss uh, about steel rcc slab and reinforcement detailing of simple beam and slab guys uh, please watch this video up to the end uh, this is important topics for civil engineers uh, these are uh, some thumb rolls and uh, some calculation parts for a beam and columns and some as per the reinforcement drawings here uh, you would get a benefit guys uh, please help uh, watch this video up to the end and please subscribe my youtube channel guys uh, guys it will uh, really help uh, me and motivate me encourage me to make a better video in future Thank you guys. Uh, guys, let's uh, come to the point how much steel is uh, required for a RCC slab. Uh, this is uh, a thumb roll for RCC slab. Uh, thumb roll for steel required for RCC slab is uh, 80 kg per meter cube. You just, uh, guys, uh, remember this. 80 kg per meter cube uh, is still uh, required uh, for RCC slab. This is a thumb rule. Uh, we are, as a civil engineer, uh, we should uh, remember this thumb rule uh, for a lifetime, guys. And this thumb rule uh, is a quick uh, and time saving. Uh, we can uh, assume uh, as per this thumb roll uh, doesn't need any long calculation it will save our time and it will uh, for a civil engineer this thumb rolls uh, basically a value for a civil engineer a civil engineer must know these things basic things if uh, somebody ask us uh, ask a civil engineer and it may be an interview question, an exam question, uh, ask an anytime uh, what is the RCC slab uh, steel requirement and for RCC slab. We can simply answer uh, RCC slab the steel requirement is 80 kg per meter cube. This is a thumb rule, guys. Uh, then the quantity of steel required for uh, 100 square feet. 1.18 meter cube RCC slab equal to uh, 80 into 1.8 is equal to 94.5 uh, kilogram of steel. Uh, guys, uh, answer is 94 94.5 kg steel quantity are required for 100 square feet uh, 5 inch thickness of RCC slab uh, for roof slab is considered uh, for 100 uh, square feet uh, we need uh, 94.5 kg of steel guys our reinforcement details of simple beams and slab reinforcement detail of simply supported beam and slab as seen in the figure below uh, for simply supported beam and slab 100% reinforcement as part uh, as part the design is provided as a tension reinforcement at the mid span of the beam and slab and 50% curtailed at the distance of 0.08L from the center support. Uh, guys, this is the reinforcement detailing uh, distribution is still, this is the distribution is still 50% uh, here and 0.08L from the metal as uh, guys uh, in a beam and a slab the bottom portion is always uh, tension is still uh, provided this is the uh, span for this slab 
and the both side is 0 0.08 uh, L. Uh, guys, uh, curtailment of uh, tension is still in simply supported beam and slab. Reinforcement details of continuous beam and slab. For a continuous beam and slab, uh, the shear reinforce and bending moment diagram are drawn and reinforcement details are provided based on the value of the shear force and bending moment as can uh, be seen from the figure below that their tension reinforcement are hundred percent at the mid span of the beam and slab while it is uh, curtailed at the distance of 0.1 L from the center of the support at the end support and 0.2 L at the intermediate support L is the effective length of the beam and slab uh, guys uh, the shear reinforcement are provided for the support to the distance of 0.1 L from the face of support on the end support and at the distance of 0.3 L from the center of support at the intermediate support uh, this is uh, uh, another uh, this is uh, beam or slab uh, reinforcement detailing this is the uh, columns here you can see distribution is still uh, this in, in this person it is uh, 50 percent and here near to the support is 100 percent here 50 percent here in the middle center is 100 percent tension uh, still is uh, provided uh, you can see from support it is 0.1 l uh, 50 percent uh, tension is still uh, provided here and here 0.2L, uh, 0.3L, 50% of uh, mid span is still. Uh, guys, uh, curtailment of reinforcement in beam and slab construction. Typical and reinforcement detail for a concrete beam. Uh, the typical reinforcement details of the concrete beams shall be indicated in the number of the reinforcement uh, diameter and length of reinforcement for the both top and bottom reinforcement. This is the reinforcement detailing uh, of beam. Uh, guys, you can see the all details here. Uh, this is the cross section. Uh, typical reinforcement detail for a concrete beam uh, guys uh, this was all about uh, reinforcement detailing uh, of continuous beam and slab uh, we discussed uh, guys uh, please kindly uh, subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon for the more updates videos thank you guys have a nice time